Hey guys, uh, Chrome Santa's here, bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay. This is kind of a first impressions gameplay, slash, good weapons, good classes. And for you, those of you guys who play game battles, uh, I do have some good classes that I will be sharing also. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go with the first impressions. The game has been out for two days, currently the today is Wednesday. Well, one day, um, I got it midnight, at the midnight premiere. So, uh, first impressions, um, I'm really liking the game so far. There, are, you have to really, you have to choose a good gun. If you're not using a good gun, you're not gonna have fun, and that kind of goes without saying. That's for any game. If you're using a bad gun, then you're not gonna have a lot of fun. But, um, here, well, I guess here's the classes. The classes that I think are good is the gun that I'm using right now. It is the PDW-57, no, 567, I think. I believe, um, you, if you guys are looking in your creative class, you should see it there. I am using extended mags, or maybe I'm using fast mags, the dual mags, dual mags, that's what it is. Um, I'm using fast mags or dual mags, I'm not sure which one it is. The laser, which I think is very helpful. I do like the laser. And I am using long barrel. Long barrel, if you're using any submachine gun, you should go with long barrel. Long barrel adds obviously it adds um a length or sh it adds a distance to your shot and it adds uh damage. It's it's incredibly good. I noticed a difference right as I put it on. I would go with using it. Another good class is in the submachine guns is the scorpion evo i use a uh, extend mags and a grip on it it does have a lot of bullets in it no it doesn't have a lot i mean it has a lot of bullets in it but whenever the gun shoots as fast as that gun does then you need to put on extended mags in order to uh, have some uh, success and i did and it is pretty it does shoot fast so it does recoil a lot so i did put on grip also, um, another good gun is the assault rifle, the MA81. Uh, that is a three burst, so it is originally a three burst, so it is a very good three burst weapon. Plus, it is a good automatic weapon. You can change if you use the select fire. Some of the guns have the options for select fire. It is an attachment, so if you use that and you do uh. Uh, fully auto. Sorry about that, guys. If you do fully auto, then it is a very good gun. Another one is the USMC. That gun, it's really good. And what I said earlier with the PWD57, the gun I'm using right now, those are the same uh, attachments I use right now. So those of you guys who play pubs, you might not have the assault rifle I just talked about or the Scorpion EVO. But you should maybe have this gun. This gun, yeah, you should definitely have this gun. This gun, I think I got at maybe s level 7, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. And then the USMC, you get at 27 or 28. Both very good guns. Um, which one's better? I can't really tell you that one. I like them both. I think they are both good weapons. Also, um... There's one more good weapon. Oh yeah, the uh, this is a uh, attachment. The uh, it's the one the lock on sight. Uh, you aim in, and you, a red triangle or red square appears. That is uh, that is good for for GBs because right now uh, that is not banned. I assume sooner or later it will be banned. But right now it is not banned. So if you are playing some GBs, you might want to use that give it a try but it is kind of hard to use not so much but like if they're far range from you it's gonna it's a little bit harder to get your shots off if they're head glitching or something so that is a good attachment to use and um something uh a note um i had a i was playing on turbine and i had a 41 and 4 gameplay i was gonna bring it to you guys but it it wasn't in my it wasn't my theater but the theater was messing up this was around the same time 
as the servers. The servers went down on Black Ops 2 yesterday for about two hours or an hour. And that was... And then I got the gameplay. My, the servers went down. And my gameplays that I were going to use were not there because I did not save them in my vault. And that game, I went, I was on a 34 kill streak, and I was, I was real excited after I got the gameplay to bring it to you guys. But uh, it's not here, so I'm bringing you this free for all. I believe I go 30 and 8. Um, not an amazing score, but it's still Black Ops gameplay, and it's pretty, it's pretty entertaining to watch. And uh, this map, my opinions on the maps, this map in particular. Um, I'm not sure how much I like it. It's not my favorite map. My favorite map would have to be Standoff. It's a map and it takes place in like Uzbekistan or Ujiyu Kajikistan or something like that. One of those uh a Middle Asian Middle Asian Middle East countries. I don't know why I was saying Middle Asian. Oh, there, right there there's a good jump up. Uh if you did not know about that, you can jump on the forklift and into the window and so maps um maps i really don't really like uh aftermath i'm not really a fan of uh that's the one with a whole bunch of uh aftermath uh as you could say the aftermath of like uh hurricane uh something i don't know or a godzilla it's kind of like downturn it's kind of like a godzilla went through the map and destroyed the whole thing and but maps overall are pretty good in this game and GBs in this game. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, game battles they're pretty good in this game also. So if you guys are game battles fans, you should probably go play with some. I just played one. Uh, I had like nine kills or something like that. It's a lot of fun. So uh, thanks, thank you guys for stopping by. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a rating if you liked it. Thanks guys.